Now we have the Distinguished Service Award. This award recognizes significant volunteer services benefiting the greater good philanthropic leadership or service to the Minnetonka Alumni Association. The recipient of the 2023 Distinguished Service Award is Rogeen Hanson Merriweather from the class of 1976. Rogeen joined the Minnetonka High School staff in 2001. As a school nurse, she navigated everything from sprained, ankle, sprained ankles to the COVID-19 pandemic during her 20 years of service. And I can certainly attest to working with Rogene for many years, her tremendous service and care for students and staff. Introducing Rogene, our children, Courtney Jacobs and Dustin Merriweather. Hi, my name is Courtney Jacobs. And I'm Dustin Merriweather. And we have the incredible honor of introducing Rogene Merriweather, tonight's recipient of the Distinguished Service Award. Rogeen was the nurse at Benetonka High School from 2001 to 2021, but we know her best as mom. I can think of no other person who was as hardworking and dedicated to her job as Rogeen, and her job put her through the ringer. Early in her career at MHS, I was part of the wind ensemble tour of Beijing over spring break. We left the country, headed for China, the day before Beijing was declared a SARS hotspot. We were allowed to stay and continue our trip because Rogene assured everyone that she would take all measures necessary to keep us and the rest of the MHS student body safe upon our return. And that she did. With SARS being so new at that point and not yet widespread, there were no set guidelines for schools or institutions to follow after possible exposure. So MDH was watching closely to see what happened with our band. Rogene developed school protocols for monitoring SARS symptoms in the band students, and she sent students home when she felt it was necessary. No one had to be quarantined, and none of us developed SARS. The members of that year's wind ensemble are indebted to her hard work. And if you're thinking, wow, what anomalously <laughs> bad luck for a school trip. No way he's going to have a similar story. You'd be right. And wrong. Two years later, I went to Norway on the joint band and choir trip. Rogene came along this time as a chaperone. And as irony would have it, this time we did get sick. <laughs> In addition to injuries, strep throat spread through the ranks, getting severe in a couple cases. But thankfully, we had a nurse with us who was willing to sacrifice her time and miss out on travel activities to take care of the students who needed her. If that's not the epitome of distinguished service, I don't know what it is. As we like to joke in our family, she picked the wrong trip to go on and the wrong one to stay home for. But in all seriousness, she was right where she was needed for both trips, caring for the sick students on the Norway trip and advocating for the healthy ones on the China trip. Rogene ended her career at MHS after the toughest year she ever experienced, along with the rest of the world, the COVID-19 pandemic. She was again collecting data and working with MDH protocols in communication with MDH and managing issues unprecedented in human history. No need to fill in the details, you all remember it. Most people have little understanding of the daily ins and outs of a high school nurse, but I can definitely tell you it's more than putting band-aids on boo-boos. She was the sole RN for a student body of over 3,000 students. That's tens of thousands over her 20 years at MHS. And she was always welcoming and compassionate to any student who came through her doors, desiring the best for all students and consistently going over and above the call of duty to see that their needs were met, physically, emotionally, and cognitively. These qualities and characteristics stretch well past her position as school nurse and into her daily life. And in the true fashion of a servant, she doesn't do it for the recognition. She just genuinely wants to help. Indeed, not all heroes wear capes, and to say she is our hero, though it conveys our sentiments, still falls short of encapsulating her many years and modes of distinguished service. Thank you, Rogene, Mom, for all you've done. It's my honor to welcome Rogene to the stand. Congratulations. I have the great honor of having graduated from here, and then I get to come back and work here. It's been wonderful. Um, I just want to thank the board and the Alumni Association for it, even considering me for the honor and then extending it. I, um, I am uh, deeply touched, so thank you for that. And I um, thank my family because um, I wouldn't have gotten through it without them. And I just appreciate all your love and care and support. and listening and flexibility and everything you needed over the years. Um, so thank you from the bottom of my heart. And in all honesty, I feel like there are others who need to be up here with me because it takes a community to be a school nurse. Um, 
with that wonderful SARS epidemic, I got um, called into the principal's office over spring break. <laughs> I never got called into the principal's office as a student. Um, and we had to figure out what we were gonna do. Dr. Peterson was there and we had to navigate this because it was so new. And I, I just can't thank the administration enough for their support. Um, the school staff for their incredible support. Um, and truly MDH at that time, I had to work much closer with them because we didn't have the extensive guidelines that we had with COVID. And then you fast forward to COVID, and it's a whole nother ball game that we, we went through and had elementary kids in our building, and I don't do elementary, <laughs> I do high school. <laughs> so the thanks goes to the school nurses. They are, honestly, I wish you all had a chance to really get to know uh, the group of school nurses here. They are phenomenal. It is an, um, it is a creative, intelligent, compassionate, problem-solving, encouraging group. And without each other, none of us would have made it through those years. Um, and Annie um, Lombard Benson just led the helm through all of the chaos we endured. Um, I, I, I have to go back and, and say when I was here as a student, I, I loved my educational experience here, and I remember going to college feeling incredibly well prepared for, for college, well beyond um, peers at that level that um, did not have the same level of education that, that I received here. And I never ever thought I'd be a school nurse, but I ended up back here. And it's been a beautiful place. It's been a great place to work. And, and so I, I just am thankful for the staff at this building in particular. It's the only one I've worked with at Minnetonka. And they are a stellar staff. They, they are, they are, and everyone. Like, I don't want to name all the groups, but I am talking everyone, not just teachers and administrators, but everybody who works in this building. Um, the school nurses get to know the um, janitorial services group very well. So, um, anyway, everybody in this building is awesome, and it's been a beautiful place to work. It's been a caring group, and, and Jeff, I just thank you for your leadership. In the last years that I was here, it's been awesome. It's been great working with you. And my final thanks goes to the families. Um, there's even a family here that, mm, I love you guys. Um, the families here are an amazing group of people to work with and to collaborate with. And when you get the families that really work together to help um, work on a student issue or concern, um, it's, an, it's amazing to be able to work with them and, and see a child that comes in as a ninth grader and graduate as a senior and the change, um, the metamorphosis that happens is really cool. So there are so many that I'm thankful to and um, I just, I am happy that I was able to end my career here. It's been a beautiful, beautiful run, so thank you.